What's up, y'all? I'm Danny Ramirez. I play fanboy in Top Gun Maverick, and I'm gonna go through a couple of the training exercises that led me to be in the best shape of my life for the movie. Once I got this role, I realized that I had to go and tackle a couple of my fears. One of them, which is most importantly, the fear of flying. So I started trying to prepare myself in every way possible. Most importantly is getting yourself in peak physical shape to sustain as many Gs as possible, which thankfully I was able to do because then throughout the whole movie, it was over 40 hours of flight time, pulling mad Gs. So the workouts that went into preparing for the movie were basically functional mobility, power, and just overall athleticism. So our workout today is gonna have three phases. It's gonna be flow, ignite, and workload. Flow is essentially is your dynamic warm-up. So this is to get our heart rate up and our body moving. So we're gonna first start off with quick feet. For 10 seconds. Then we have our RDL crawl outs. A little twist. And you could do this two legs or you could do it single leg. And now we're gonna go into squat crawl outs with a push up at the bottom and hand release. and transition this over to Ignite, which is where we activate the rest of our body and really prime it to be able to perform at its peak capabilities in the workload phase. This is where we start to get those muscles activated and ready to work. Oh. Preparing for Top Gun, we had essentially three months of a flight course laid out to us by Tom. And from the beginning, we got on a Cessna, then graduated to an extra 300, and then from the extra 300 to an L39, and finally to the F-18. And without that plan, I don't think we would have been able to uh, rip through the skies like we did. Aesthetics wasn't really a part that we wanted to focus on as the main thing. Knowing that you're on the F-18, it really doesn't matter how you look, but rather how much power you have and how you're able to cope with those Gs. Yeah, C-29. 835. A-52. It's telling you how much peak power you had in that one repetition. So it's really good if you want to compete with yourself. It tells you how much peak power you're putting in each rep. Yes. Did I break it? Stop registering. The workload phase is the third part of the workout, which is where we work out for true power and performance. Usually I say I would hate leg days, but since training with Nick, we actually don't skip leg days. It's either a push or pull day. So it's been able to get my legs at a place that they haven't been in a really long time. This is essentially we're going to do a power squat in this futuristic machine. The cool thing about this machine is that you can put the resistance up um, via these two little uh, controls. After doing a set of the power squats, we run out here and we do some of these varied hurdles. and then we alternate back and forth until we're finished with that workout. So we're down to the last two exercises. And for this one, it's a machine that is not gonna allow me to pass a certain amount of miles per hour. I'm gonna go ahead and try to break this machine and try to pass the miles per hour that it's allowing me to go. I then am unleashed and then I get to sprint. And at that point, my body, which is used to the resistance, is gonna be able to run faster, or so it seems. Ah. I got five more sets to go, men's health, so y'all gotta get out. And now I'm gonna get faster than Mach 1, Mach 1! 